Hello teacher, hello students. Welcome to today's lesson on capital statement, which is one of the financial statements. In our previous lesson, we discussed financial statements, income statement. An income statement is an accounting report that shows the revenue and expenses during a certain period of time. One of its main purposes is to show the profit or loss resulting from operations. Students, in today's lesson, we will learn capital statement. We will start our lesson by defining what capital statement is. A financial report that summarizes the chains in the property's capital that have occurred during the fiscal period is called capital statement. The owner of the business can review the capital statement to determine why the capital is increasing or decreasing. Students, after defining capital statement, now let's see when the change in the amount of capital occurs. Change in the amount of capital occur a when additional capital is invested b when cash merchandise or other assets are withdrawn and c when the business earns a profit or incurs a loss from its operation now i want you to do the following exercise individually you have two minutes what are causes for the change in capital balance of a capital statement discuss briefly
students, did you answer the question? Good. Let's now provide you the answer so that you can compare it with your responses. Changes in the amount of capital occur when A. Additional capital is invested B. Cash, merchandise or other assets are withdrawn by owner for personal use and C. When the business earns a profit or incurs a loss from its operation. Now let's see the data required to prepare capital statement and the steps used to prepare capital statement. Data for the preparation of capital statement are obtained from the capital column of the tabular summary and from the income statement. The time period is the same as that covered by the income statement. The beginning capital amount is shown on the first line of the statement. Then, the owner's investments, net income, and the owner's drawings are identified in the statement. Now I want you to do the following exercise individually. You have two minutes. Which one of the following has a decreasing effect on the capital? A. Additional investment B. Net income C. Withdrawals D. Beginning capital Students, did you answer the question? Good. Let's now provide you the answer so that you can compare it with your responses. The answer is C. Withdrawals by owners have a decreasing effect on the capital. Students, now it's time to discuss the steps for preparing capital statement using an example. For example, Wezero Haragwain Aboy's beginning capital was Bir 4000 at the beginning of the fiscal year. During the time of the operation, she added additional capital amounting to Bir 1000. She has withdrawn Bir 1000 for her personal use from the business at the end of the fiscal year. The annual net income as shown on income statement of the business is Bir 1092. Accordingly, the capital statement of the company can be prepared using the following steps. Now let's see the first step for preparing capital statement. Step 1. 
Write the heading on three lines. Line 1, the name of the business. Line 2, the name of the report. Line 3, the fiscal period covered by the capital statement. Haragoyen Aboye Beauty Salon. Capital statement for month ended Meskaram 30, 2005. Students, it is time to discuss the second step for preparing capital statement. Write the words Haragoyen Aboye, capital, Meskaram 30, 2005, at the extreme left of the white column. Write the amount of capital in the first amount column. The beginning capital amount is Bir 4000. Have you understood the first two steps? Good. Now let's proceed to the third step. Step 3. Write the words plus additional investment on the knit line at the extreme left of the white column to show that an amount is added to the beginning capital. Write the amount of the additional investment in the first amount column on the line immediately below the beginning capital. Students, I think you have noticed the change among the tables. Good. Let's see the fourth step. Add the amount of the beginning capital and the amount of the additional investment and write the total in second amount column. Write the word total at the extreme left of the white column. Write the amount of the net income in the first amount column. Now let's see the fifth step for preparing capital statement. Step 5. Write the words net income for December 2010 at the extreme left of the white column. Students. Have you noted the difference between the fourth and the fifth step? In step four, we write only the amount of the net income, but in step five, we write the words net income. Now let's continue our discussion and see the sixth step. Step six. Write the words less withdrawal for Meskaram 2005 in the white column indented about half inch. Write the amount of the withdrawals in the first amount column. Now let's see the seventh step for preparing capital statement. Step 7. Subtract the amount of the withdrawals from the amount of the net income. Write the net increase or decrease at the extreme left of the white column. If the net income exceeds the withdrawals, the amount is called net increase in capital. If the withdrawals exceeded the net income, the amount is called net decrease in capital. Students, now it's time to see the final step for preparing capital statement, that is step eight. Step 8. Add the net increase or subtract the net decrease to or from the total and write the sum in the second amount column. Write Haragoyen Apoye Capital, Meskaram 30, 2005 at the extreme left of the white column to identify the amount. Rule double lines across both amount columns. Students, I want you to do the following activity. The activity will be done by discussing with the student sitting next to you. You have two minutes. Using the following information, prepare the capital statement for the month ended September 31, 2010. Haimanut Olango Capital, September 1, 2010, Bir 15,000, Additional Capital, 
two thousand net loss three thousand withdrawals one thousand additional information the name of the business Haimanut Olango Repair Service I hope you've answered the question. Let's now provide you the answer so that you can compare it with your responses. Haimanot Orlango Repair Service, Capital Statement for month ended September 31, 2010. Haimanot Orlango Capital, September 1, 2010, 15,000. Plus additional capital, 2,000. Total, 17,000. Net loss for September 2010, 3,000. Less withdrawals for September 2010, 1,000. Net decrease in capital, 4,000. Haimanot Olango Capital, September 31, 2010, 13,000. Let me wind up today's discussion by summarizing the main points. Today, we have learned capital statement. Capital statement is a statement that summarizes the change in owner's equity for a specific period of time. Data needed to prepare the capital statement are 1. The beginning balance of capital 2. Additional investment made during the fiscal period 3. The withdrawals during the fiscal period and four, the net income or net loss for the fiscal period. This brings us to the end of today's lesson. In our next lesson, we will discuss the Petty Cash Fund. Until then, goodbye teacher, goodbye students.